guys we're here we're here we're live and direct listen listen first and foremost big up to everybody in the chat man you guys know what it is be sure to hit the like button be sure to subscribe straight after iftar settings we literally broke our fast less than an hour ago Ahmad diallo broke his fast less than an hour ago Ahmad diallo is him garnacho put respect on the kid's name diogo dallo what a performance harry maguire Bruno Fernandez, Ericsson, playing quarterback settings, Tom Brady, Mahomes. Oh my God. I actually have no words. I have no words, guys, for that game. I'm literally, oh, I didn't even fix my camera before I went live. That's how you know, guys. I just, I went live quickly. I went live quickly, man. You know what it is. Be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. Big up to everyone, man. I hope you've had a great day. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you continue to have a great day. I'm not even going to sit here, break down tactics. I don't want to talk tactics. I don't want to talk about game plan. I'm just going to talk and go off of vibes. I'm going off of vibes and you lot can get onto me in the chat. I don't care if you're like, oh, Mina, we're still crap. I don't care. To win in the manner that United did, yeah, one nil up. 2-1 down, 2-2, two, 3-2, two, three, 3-3, two, three, three, four, three. oh my god, oh my days, I fully thought I was gonna, I, the way I screamed down my yard, ridiculous, I'm surprised my neighbours didn't call the feds on me, they probably thought something happened, the way that I screamed that, listen, 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 where should we start from guys, where should we start, where should we start, I don't even know where to start, I'm just so, like, I just have no words. I had, That is the best United... Like, you know what's crazy, guys? Is that there's been games this season where te the team haven't dug deep enough to get that equaliser. To get that equaliser. The team have not dug deep. Today, it looked like they did not want to give up. And this is a team... These are players that we have been on to for how long? This is players that we've been on to for how long? Saying they got no bark, they got no bite, they got no fight, they got none of that. They got none of that. Marcus Rashford could have had two goals at the least. Listen, he ended up scoring. He Marcus Rashford ended up scoring. So you know what? If 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 we had lost, if United had lost, then I would have come back to it to been like, yo, Rashford, what you on? But I'm not even gonna do any of that today. I'm not even gonna do any of that. Be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. Listen, listen. I've been speaking about Ahmad Diallo for months. For the last 12, the last 12, 18 months, I've been speaking about Ahmad Diallo. I watched him at Sunderland. I watched him at Sunderland. I continue, I I brought I can I can drag up tweets of me tweeting about him at Sunderland saying, oh, he does this well, he does this well, and he's gonna be able to do this for Manchester United. Ahmad Diallo is him. Don't get it wrong. Do not get it wrong, guys. Do not get he got his chance and he took it. He got his chance and he took it. And in true African settings, yeah, in true AFCON vibes, my guy took off his shirt and got sent off. Do you not remember when that happened in AFCON to an Ivory Coast player? <laughs> Do you guys remember? Because that's all I thought about. As soon as he backed off his shirt, I was too busy celebrating. I was too busy celebrating. I literally, I couldn't. I could not believe it. I could, I, something was telling me Ahmad was going to score, guys. And I even tweeted it. I tweeted it, yeah. At some point during the first half, of extra time and people are saying that I do judge I don't do judge I just had faith in him I just had faith in him I tweeted saying I'm a Diallo winner at 119 minutes that's all and people were coming back to it when he scored I listen I'm a Diallo worked his socks off that cameo was out of this world that cameo it was worth waiting for honestly it was worth waiting for and I know we've been waiting for a minute for him to to to, to make his appearance in the team and it was worth waiting for I'll be legit I'll be legit because if he had it's the magnitude of this game it's the magnitude and the level of this game yeah that made that bark and that fight just feel 10 times better you know FA Cup quarterfinal against Liverpool at Old Trafford coming coming off of off of being down yeah Bear in mind, guys, let's be real. From when the from when United went 2-1 down, I felt like, you know, our heads might have dropped. It was only in the last 10 or so minutes of the second half where we really started putting in a fight. We really started putting in a fight. And, and I'm going to give credit to Eric Ten Hag. I have some credits to give to Eric Ten Hag because I was sceptical about some of his changes. I was thinking when Anthony scored his goal, when Anthony scored his goal and then got put at left back, I was like, hmm, 
why are we doing that? Bruno Fernandes, deepest lying player. I was like, hmm, why are we doing that? Ericsson and Bruno were playing centre back together. They were playing, they were on quarterback settings, guys. They were on quarterback settings, yeah? Playing long balls. Harry Maguire winning every aerial duel that he could when he went up top. Mason Mount, I'm not gonna lie, I don't I don't know why he came on in it. Maybe fresh legs, maybe fresh legs. But I'm gonna give full credit and full respect to Alejandro Garnacho, who I have sat here time and time again defending over the last 20 or something games that he's played game in, game out. He reportedly didn't even train sometimes midweek this week because of a possible knock that he had. 120 minutes of pure dog, pure fight. He just gave it all for a hundred. Him and Diogo Dallo gave it everything. Bruno Fernandes, I was irritated by him in the second half. Then he was. Then he got brought down, and he was playing with an injury, with which looked like he was in a lot of pain. Scott McTominay was playing through cramp. Yeah, he was limping at some point when there was like a before Ahmad scored. He was limping. He was limping. These are players that I get onto often. Yeah, where I say they got no bark, they got no bite, they got no fight, they ain't got no blood in them. Today, I don't know, man. They dug deep. They dug so deep to get that. Yeah. And I was reading, I was reading, um, I was reading a, 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 an article. I was reading an article that said Coventry's coach, Robbins, he's an ex-Man United player, who scored the winner, scored the winner for Sir Alex Ferguson in a semi-final in a season where he was under threat for his job in his early years. United went on to win the FA Cup. United went on to win the FA Cup. And now he is he he is at Coventry. He is at Coventry now. Now I don't I I don't I don't believe in superstition. Like I got people accusing me of judge astaghfirullah, guys. I got people saying Mina does judge astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. I don't I don't I don't condone that. I don't condone that. I can du'a for, I make du'a, and God does not reject the prayers of a fasting person. That's the only way. That's the only that's the only way I predicted Ahmad was going to score. I had, there was something in me. Some so, uh, guys, I even forgot to turn monetization on for the stream. That's how you know that I just went quick thing, quick settings, quick setting. Sorry, man, guys, money affy make, money affy make, man. You guys know what it is. Listen, I want to hear everyone's thoughts, so please interact in the chat. Be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. I was meant to. I'm meant to go to my friend's house. Yeah, I told my. I told my brethren I'll be there at eight o'clock. I'm lying. I won't be there at eight o'clock. If you're watching the stream, I'm sorry. I lied to you. The game went to extra time. Then I had to do a stream. So I will be at your house when I get there in it. I'm on black people timing right now because I'm too happy. I'm too, I, I, I'm, I'm too gassed. I'm too gassed. United are going to Wembley. We're the famous Man United and we're going to Wembley. But let's, now that, okay, now that I got all of the, the, oh my God. You know when Rashford, I know Ma Rashford was offside for that chance, yeah? But when Rashford missed it, yeah, wallahi, I collapsed on the floor in my living room. Like, I was actually, like, face planted on the floor in, in, in the living room, what in front of the television. I couldn't believe it. Like, I actually think right now my neighbours are probably thinking, what the hell is wrong with that person that lives in that house? Because I was jumping up and down. I nearly forgot to cook food. I didn't even make food, guys. I'm a liar. I'm a liar. I didn't even make food. I, I couldn't do it. My heart couldn't handle it I couldn't handle going in the kitchen whilst my team are there fighting two for nil fighting two for nil and you know how this was a this was a mental game guys my family group chat no one spoke until extra time until Ahmad Diallo scored and it's a bunch of Man United fans and some some non-Man United fans nobody spoke and I messaged in the chat saying yo is everyone okay like is everyone watching the game like why is everyone so quiet in here and everyone was like we can't talk we cannot type I physically I swear, I thought I was going to... Oh, my God, my friend is messaging me. I know I know she's probably thinking, where are you? You're meant to be coming to my yard. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. United comes first. United comes first. I'm sorry. Big up to everyone. Be sure to hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. Listen, let's start from the beginning of the game. Let's start from the beginning of the game. Aaron Wambasaka, I feel... I feel like he held his own. I feel like he held his own to an extent. I feel like he, he held his own to an extent. There was at some points where, especially when I think it was the, um, I can't remember, it was the first goal. 
it was the first goal that we conceded where he he kind of didn't know whether to go out to Salah or let Kwanzaa make that run. And that was unfortunate. That was unfortunate. But I don't care about that stuff, bro. I don't want to talk about that stuff. Somebody said to me, are you going to... Someone said to me before the stream, yeah? Um, are you going to, like, talk about the tactics? And I don't care about the tactics in this game. This was not... Ta this was... It was tactical from Eric Ten Hag. But also, guys, how... How how absurd was it, yeah, of Klopp to take off all his big dogs? Klopp took off Salah. I get it. I don't know if Salah was fasting, by the way. I, I'm going to assume he was. But he took off Salah 2-1 up. 2-1 up. It was as if United weren't creating anything. And he felt like, oh, they're not a threat. So when Gakpo, it was a five-on-two break. And Gakpo had his brain in his ass. Because what kind of decision was that? I'm not complaining in it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just thinking like, bro, they very much. This is. They very much felt like, oh, these are small boys. United are small boys, and this is what I want to see from United. This kind of fight. That's it. Like, there's so many times this season where I've we've seen United capitulate, yeah, and sometimes they don't get the result, and sometimes they fight back to get a draw, get a win. But today, wallahi, there's something in the air felt different. Something in the air felt different. They fully felt like they... And you know what? I think I think the players had faith that they could get something. And when you feel like that and you... And United were creating chances, guys. Let's be for real now. United were creating chances. We just weren't putting it in the back of the net. We were not putting it in the back of the net. Shout out to Marcus Rashford because he did miss that chance. It would have been offside every, anyway. He missed another chance after that. But man... The, com the composure you have to have in that moment after you had just missed a big chance that could have finished the game like 20 minutes ago. He said it post-match, by the way, in his interview. He said, I wish the game was over 30 minutes ago, but I'm glad we we done the job in at the end of it. Big up to Marcus Rashford in it. I'm not going to criticise anyone today. Wallahi, I'm not going to criticise anyone. I don't have bad words to say about anyone. I don't care. You guys can say I'm delusional, giddy, all of that stuff. I don't care. I do not care. And I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it over again. These are the kind of games that, that that they suck you back in with. They draw you back in. They draw you back in. Not even not even Eric Ten Hag. Not even Eric Ten Hag. Not even Eric Ten Hag. I don't have anything to say about him. Look, I knew it. I knew someone was going to say it. Giddy FC. I don't care. I'll be Giddy FC today. I do not care, guys. I'm not joking. I don't care. When you win in that manner, this is basically, I will be honest, that was United's season on the line. Because United have to win, a, a, they have to win a trophy. They have to win, we have to win a trophy this year. That was our season on the line, yeah? On the line, I'm hearing people talking about quadruple this, yeah? Quadruple this. I have other people telling me uh, United don't make, uh, no United player gets into the starting 11 combined. Piss off. Piss off. Piss off. Klopp is leaving this season. At the end of this season, send him home. On your bike, mate. On your bike. Honestly, these are the kind of games where I don't, especially, especially for me, uh, or, or even for everyone, I think just in general, all the fans, for, for, for everybody that was watching that game, like that must have been, as a neutral, watching that game must have been mental. Watching that game as a neutral must have been uh, crazy because me my heart was going pitta patta pitta patta pitta patta my heart was going pitta patta every time every single time oh my god I cannot believe it big up to MUFC with the super chat I appreciate the contribution says that was a Ramadan miracle we don't believe in miracles here we, it's all by the grace of God it's all by the grace of God we don't believe in miracles here that was all that was God's doing that was God's doing listen I'm a Diallo celebration as well <laughs> <laughs> honestly yeah can i say and this is why i'm saying and this is why i'm saying yeah ahmad diallo is him because if people had criticisms about his defensive work yeah and i was saying time and time again ahmad has worked on his defensive duties while he was at sunderland it was something that tony morbury worked with on him nobody believed it no one believed it what did ahmad do got the interception that led to rashford's goal what did he do after that? What did he do after that? Come on, 
corner. I'm hearing the commentator saying, oh, Liverpool scored from extra time corner in the League Cup. Van Dijk and, and uh, the Simic has played a corner. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. That's what the, you know, that's what the commentator was saying on ITV. That Liverpool scored from the same position, the winner in the League Cup. Simicast into Van Dijk. Shut up. Get out of here. Get, get out of here, bruv. Get out of here. Ahmad Diallo on your bike. On your bike. Closing him down and gone, bro. This, I hope when he went into the changing room, I'm not joking. I hope they had three dates and a bottle of water ready for him to break his fast with. I hope they had three dates and a bottle of water. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? I don't think, guys, I was saying this after the game. I do not feel like this. I haven't felt like this after a game in a long time. Even Barcelona did not make me feel like this. Like, I was gassed when United beat Barcelona, but not to this level. Not to this level. And I feel like the stakes are definitely higher. I feel like the stakes are definitely higher now because United have had such a bad season. We're, we're holding on to the idea of the FA Cup, uh, you know, winning the FA Cup. So we're holding on to that idea. Oh, big up to Suleiman with the super chat. I appreciate the contribution, man. Big up says, I'm alive. Big up. Welcome back to Suleiman rising from the dead. I know it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Who's your man of the match of that game, guys? Who is your man of the match? Honestly, I, I don't even know. I, I would give it to I would give it to Ahmad just because he scored the winner and he contributed defensively to both got to two goals. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah, that's what you call taking your moment. Garnacho did that. They got their moment, they took it. They got their moment, they took it. And you know what? Thank God the FA Cup runs in to the Premier League, by the way. Thank God, because Ahmad Diallo, you ain't missing the semi-final, bro. You ain't missing the semi-final. You're just bad. You're just missing the Brentford game. You're just missing the Brentford game. That's it, bro. Don't worry. You will be coming out at Wembley with the team. You will be there with the team at Wembley. He wasn't there last year because obviously he was on loan at Sunderland. But you got United to the semi-final, so you will be there. And you know what? I'm I when I see Garnacho and Ahmad together, I get I get happy. I'm not gonna lie. I get happy because these are two players that played together in the academy. One of them got his chance sooner than the other one. And the other one just sat back and was patient and waited. And that's what you have to do. That's what you have to do. You get your chance. And when you get your chance, you take it with both hands. Kobe done it. Garnacho done it. Ahmad Diallo is doing it as well. Ahmad Diallo is doing it as well. And I'm so guessed for him. And you know what? Like I said, shout out to Eric Ten Hag in it because A, some of his changes paid off. 100% some of his changes paid off for Manchester United. Um, you know, the likes of who is putting wan on Salah paid off. Putting wan on Salah, that worked for to an extent. To a point where early in the game, Salah was switching sides to Dallow's side. Dallow, 110% energy. Energy, that's all he gave. That's all he gave. And guys... I just, well, I don't know what to say, man. I don't, I don't know what, I don't even want to read anything. I don't want to listen to any podcast. I don't want to see the manager's comments after the game. None of that. I am just happy for once. For once, I am just happy. Because that level of fighting to dig that deep, 120 minutes, yeah, playing 10 hard football, which is basically up and down the pitch. There was times during the game, I don't know if you saw, but there was times where there was a huge gap between the front line and the back line. And why is that? That's because Eric Ten Hag likes to, you know, have the whole front line pressing and then the back line are playing really deep. So the gap in between them is huge. And we were getting hit on, on breaks nonstop. You know, Endo running through the midfield, McAllister running through. Who the who's subbers like? People coming into this game, yeah. And last time we played Liverpool, I had I had Liverpool. My friend who's a Liverpool fan was saying to me, "Subbers like Zubbers, Who's that, bro? Who who is he? Who is who is he? Did he not get hooked at some point during the game? Did he not get hooked? And you know what? Now that I think about it, some of the goals that United conceded was our own fault because they were deflections. Anana probably would have had it. The Curtis Jones chance, he would have had it. It was just deflections. It was really just deflections. Now, I'm not going to downplay it, obviously, at the end of the day, because shit happens in it. Excuse my language, but things happen. Things happen. But I, for once, like to see a United team that played through the entire 120 minutes. That's it. I just want, I, that's all I wanted to see. And we got that in the process, knocking. In the process, knocking Liverpool out, 
in the process knocking Liverpool out, ending Klopp's Wembley run or whatever. I'm hearing people people are saying they're going back to Wembley, mate. Get back on the M6. Get back on there. You, you stay on the M6, man. You ain't coming down. You're not. You're not. You're not going to Wembley. You ain't coming to Wembley. Get back on the M6. Back to Liverpool. Simple as that. Simple as that. Big up to Riri with the super chat. Says man of the match. Eric Ten Hag and the whole team. Everyone gets man of the match. Everyone can share the man of the match trophy. Just stick it in the dressing room because that belongs to everyone. Big up to Suleiman. I hope you have a wonderful evening. I did my stream a lot earlier than I would have done. I would have done it at 9pm UK time, but I think the hype would have died down for me. I think the buzz for me would have died down. Like I will still be buzzing, but just to not this extent. Right now, I can't sit still in my seat, guys. I cannot sit still in my seat. I'm buzzing. I'm on a high. Liverpool played Thursday, guys. This is one thing that I was thinking during the game, because I was like, at times, United looked like a team that had played midweek as well, but that's how we've looked all season. United have looked like that all season. They look like they have been playing every three days. Now, the midfield, when Kobe Mano came off, I was a bit concerned. I'm not going to lie. I, I saw Ericsson in the six. I thought, mm, scary hours. Scary, scary hours. Then I saw Ericsson as a centre, but I said, oh, my days. Oh, my God. I saw Bruno as a centre-back. I said, what is going on? Anthony jumping for aerial duels against the likes of Cody Gakpo in that. I was like, what is happening? This is a game, guys, that you can't make sense of. That's what I um, that's what I took from it. I, I'll be real. This is what I took from the game. I took from the game that you cannot make any sense of what just happened. You can't. Tactically, it's not worth talking. Like, there's no point sitting there and dissecting it tactically because I feel like both managers just did... Like, I feel like Eric Ten Hag was calculated with the things that he did. He saw the best way to bypass Liverpool was long balls over the top. That was the best way. So what did he do? He made Bruno and Eriksen the deepest line players. He sent Maguire up top, made him the target man. All he had to do was keep knocking it down. All he had to do was keep knocking it down. And that's what he was doing. He was winning his, his duels against Van Van Dyke looked rattled. Well, like Van right Van Van Wright, I was about to say, Van Dyke looked rattled at one point. And even I was like, I had that gave me faith. When I saw Van Dyke rattled, I think it was when um when United scored the equalizer. When Anthony scored the equalizer, I thought we can, this is it. This is it. We're gonna do it. And then Curtis Jones scored and I thought, no, no. I said, we still got a goal in us. I And when it was 3-2, I said, this is either going 3-3 and pens or it's finishing 4-3 United. It's going to be one or the other. It's going to be one or the other. And for some reason, something was telling me that for two, we were going to score two goals in extra time. This is a team that have struggled to score just in general. We ain't, we ain't been scoring at the rate that we have. And can I say, what a difference Rasmus Hoyland makes, guys. In those first 25, 30 minutes, what a difference Rasmus Hoyland made. United could have easily been up 2-0, by the way, at the beginning of the game. And I feel like this is our problem, like, most of the time. I feel like most of the time our issue is, is that, you know, we don't take all the chances that we get. So by the time we get, you know, we get a goal and then we get three, four, five more chances, it just, it doesn't work out. It just doesn't work out for us. But United, oh, man. I just, I don't know what to say, guys. I don't know what to say. The first 30 minutes, United was on top of the game, 100%. And, and, and that happens throughout, I think, this season. United start games very well, get a goal, maybe don't get a goal. But in today's one, they got the goal, could have got another one, could have got a, could have got a second goal as well. But you, we shoot ourselves in the foot sometimes, like especially with the second goal United conceded. Anana playing it to Wan Bissaka. I don't know what happened. It was just nonsense over there. Uh, the one with the throw in, nobody closing uh, the, the the keeper down. But I don't care about that stuff. Like <laughs> like Mike says here, stop no negatives tonight. Honestly, I'm not gonna sit here and dissect the game. Like I said, I'm not gonna sit here try and make sense of a game that just made no sense because every substitution that was being made, I was just thinking this makes no sense. But that's the thing, guys. You cannot make sense of something that doesn't make sense. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. And you know what? I seen people saying, oh, United fans getting hyped. Oh, you lost six. Bro, this has nothing to do with being fifth or sixth in the league. It has nothing to do with that. This has to do with everything. This has everything to do with United winning 
the FA Cup or trying to win the FA Cup. Whether I, And guys, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We still got a hurdle to get past before we get to the final. Yeah? We still got to get past Coventry. They got our underdog story right now. And I'm sure they'd love to continue to the final. Man City and Chelsea, that's not our business, who we face. Let's just, let's not, I've seen people talking about the final, saying, oh, the final's going to be a rematch. It's going to be a rematch from last year. Let's not get too far ahead, yeah? Let's just look at the next game in front of us. Let's look at the next game in front of us and just and just hope that we have people back in time that are fit. You know, Casemiro, now we got Mount back. I'm not going to lie, don't know about Mount. But, you know, now we got Mount back. We got Maguire back. You know, Amad Diallo will be available. Garnacho, Anthony, listen, Anthony... Anthony has been the brunt of so much criticism, yeah? He's been the brunt of so much criticism, so much questions, yeah? Rightfully so from me as well. I saw I saw the pundits saying on the after the game, they were like to Sunis and, and Keen and that, they were like, oh, do you think that goal has, you know, proven why Anthony is worth 80 million? And <laughs> Sunis and Keen were like, no. <laughs> Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Let's not, let's not, let's not get too ahead of ourselves with that, that kind of conversation. But Anthony, for me, is similar to Ahmad. It's similar to Ahmad Diallo. You get your chance, you take it. You take it. A player for so long that was criticised for being unable to do anything with his right foot scores with his right foot on the spin. On the turn. On the turn. As soon as that left his feet, I knew that was going in. Bottom corner. Bottom corner. Ahmad scored in that corner as well. Keeper didn't stand a chance to get to it. The keeper, Kelleher, whatever his name is, did not stand a chance to get to it. And another thing that worked out tactically as well, I will say, is the overload on the left-hand side. First 30 minutes when United were pretty much... They, we weren't passengers in the game. United were not passengers in the game. There was times of the game where they were dictating, they were driving, they were leading. Yeah? Overload, left-hand side, wan overlapping. Rashford, Cobby, Bruno, that is all instructions from the manager. And that's the thing is, when I give criticism to the manager, I'm also going to give him credit where it's due. And that kind of credit, I'm going to give it to him because he saw a weakness on that left-hand side in Joe Gomez and Kwanzaa. I don't think Kwanzaa is a bad uh, defender, by the way. Um, still young and learning a lot. But Joe Gomez in that fullback position, I know that he's not been that great. He's not been that great. So clearly the instruction from the manager was to overload that side. Cobby, Cobby's him. I've been saying it time and time again, and people tell me, stop, don't overrate the kid too much. But Kobe shows us in big games why he is that kid. He is that kid. He's going to be that kid. And he has to be the key ingredient to Man United's midfield in the coming years. 100%. When it comes to transfer windows, buy people that complement and work well around Kobe Maino in a system that will allow him and these players to flourish. Because today, he was playing as a lone six at times. He was play he was literally the gap between him and everybody else, Bruno, McTominay, etc., was huge. That was a huge, huge gap. And he held it down. He held it down. I was really upset when he came off. I'm not gonna lie. I was I was really disappointed. But he was he's just that guy. And and you know what's funny? You know what is so funny to me is that Garnacho, yeah. I've been argue, I've been fighting, I've been arguing with people telling me I'm overhyping Garnacho. I had people telling me he's nowhere near what Ronaldo was. I never compared him to Ronaldo at, at a younger age when Ronaldo was younger. I never done that because Garnacho is his own person. But this is a kid who has played every minute of practically every game for the last 20 something games. 20 something games, 120 minutes. And at no point did I see Garnacho today walking. I did not see him walking. When United were pushing for that goal, I did not see him giving up. I did not see him getting, even though he looked exhausted. Bruno looked exhausted. McTominay looked exhausted. And these are players that we criticise so often. Today, Bruno was getting criticised for the foul that he went down for. I don't, I thought, when I watched it back, I thought it was a foul. I'm not going to lie. I, when I watched it back, I thought it was a foul. Because he gets the man before he gets the ball. It led to a Liverpool goal. It happens. Shit happens, in it? But they never stopped running. They never stopped running. And sometimes that's all you need. That little dig deep a little bit to get that final 1% that you have to give. That's better than you not, not giving anything. Diogo Dallo did not stop. Engine. Engine. I hope these guys have good ice baths when they get into the changing room. I swear, I hope they have good ice baths and they just relax them feet. I hope they relax those feet because they must be exhausted. And like I said earlier in the stream, Klopp's 
I don't want to say shamelessness, but I really, th I think Klopp thought he had it in the bag. I think he thought he had the result in the bag because I'm not going to lie, Cody Gakpo makes one different decision when it comes to that 5v2 and it's a totally different game. And sometimes that's the, that's the small margins in football. The small margins in football are things like that. It's one little decision you make differently can change the entire outcome of the game. It can change the entire outcome of the game. And like I said, I'm not going to sit here and try and make sense of the game. I'm not going to sit here and try and, you know, understand why the things that happened happened. I'm just going to keep my head high and be happy and, and be gassed. Because like I said, I all, a lot of credit, a lot of credit goes to, a lot of credit goes to Eric Ten Hag for the way that he might have, you know, set up the, the team and how he changed it in game, especially with, with the with the options that he had on the bench. He played people out of position. I know for a fact, yeah, people probably didn't want to play in the places that they were playing. Anthony was cooking on the right side. He gets shifted to left back. Bruno's in the 10. He gets shifted to centre back. He can play deeper from there. Quarterback settings. Quarterback. Hail Mary settings, yeah? Ahmad was playing as a second striker in that hot 10. He was in the 10. I don't even know Mount what he did. I'll be real, guys. I'll be so honest. Like, Mount came on. I was just like, bro, what is he, what is he doing? What is he? I, I didn't remember seeing him at all except for, like, one moment. I, didn't, I don't remember seeing him, but I don't care about that stuff. I genuinely don't care about that. I res all respect goes to Eric Ten Hag for the way that he changed the game in game. He changed it up. He switched it up. He changed the he changed the formation. He he did something that people might have been uncomfortable with doing, but it got the result. And Andre Anana, I haven't even mentioned Andre Anana, got some, made some big saves, made some big saves. And I feel like opponents do this a lot. They just shoot at the keeper. I feel like, and you lot see it all the time in it, the opponents just shoot at the goalkeeper all the time. And today, he was unlucky with those deflections, 100%. Two of those chances, two of those goals, I think he could have saved. It took a deflection that kind of sent him a bit more the wrong way. Um, but he made some big saves. He made some big saves. There was one moment, though, he had me shook. It was the last couple minutes, I think, of, was it extra time? Or regular time, I can't remember. I think it was the the last couple minutes of regular time where he came out of his line and he was like this. He was like this and like on like the, the corner of the box. And then it hit the crossbar. And then it hit the crossbar. It's moments like that that scare me sometimes from Andre and Nana. It's moments like that from Andre and Nana that scare the hell out of me. I'm not gonna lie. But then there's the moments where he makes the big chain big big saves, he plays the good passes that restores my faith today on average i swear if i was wearing my apple watch i think it would have told me lots of times that my heart rate was 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 high i'm sure it would have told me that big up to everyone be sure to hit the like button if you've just come through let me know your let me know your thoughts man about the game let me know your thoughts i want to hear everyone's thoughts um be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe, guys. You can join the membership club. It's the pinned comment in the chat. You get your badges. You get your emojis. You get your custom member content. Of course, you get to support the growth of the channel. You can send in super chats with your thoughts, with your opinions, with your comments, or if you just want to send it in because you're feeling good and you're feeling gassed and you're feeling happy with that result. Now we look on. Actually, I was going to say now we look on because I don't, I don't even want to. It's international break now. It's international break. We can enjoy the peace and quiet of international break, knowing that we did not lose. That's one good thing. That's one positive from this, is that we can go into the international break, no football for two weeks. I don't have to hear meltdowns after meltdowns of, oh my God, our season is over, blah, blah, blah. We still got something to fight for in the season. We still got something to look forward to in the season. We still got something to fight for. We still got something to be optimistic about um i'm skinning out and unfortunately still eric ten hog out today is not the day for that stuff i can't lie i can't lie for me today is not the day for that stuff let's just enjoy the win rather than being kind of div divisive and trying to divide trying to divide you know opinion let's just be happy let's just be happy with the result like honestly don't try to make guys 
don't try to make sense of something that is not making sense let's don't try to make sense of it don't try to make sense of the result don't try to make sense or understanding of everything that happened a seven game a seven goal thriller in a quarter final let's not let's not do the whole ten hog in ten hog out this player in this player out let's just let's just leave that let's just leave that today and just be happy with the result with the manner of the result because we it went it went from being out of the FA Cup 2-1 down, 2-2 from a sub, a sub scoring. 30 minutes of football where, where the team already looked, the team looked tired. Man United looked tired 60 minutes in, 55, 60 minutes in, they looked tired. And then they played for nearly another hour. They played for nearly another hour or so. Yeah, they played for nearly another hour, which they got a result. Let's not let's let's not be let's not be too yeah like reactionary. Let's not be too reactionary on that stuff. Let's let's honestly guys, no there's no Eric Ten Hag business out today. There's no none of that stuff. No player out, no this person out, this person in, this manager. No, I don't want to hear any of that. I don't want to hear any of that. Like honestly, I'm just happy. I'm just happy with it. I'm just happy with this. Like there were some Liverpool fans here yeah, that, who was it? AGT, that guy is so jokes. I saw AV, AGT on DR Sports saying, yeah, five or six. He was saying, yeah, I hope we, we will score like five or six. As long as, uh, you know, this is continuing, guys, you know, of course it might change in a couple of weeks' time. Liverpool are yet to beat United this season. Liverpool have not beaten United this season. And the next game is a big that is a big game as well because again, United are in the top top chasing for top four or top five. I don't know if you want to, you know, United are chasing for top four. Let's just say that. Liverpool are in a little title race. And they have to come to Old Trafford again. They have to come to Old Trafford again. So if United play like that, like they have something to fight for, then it will be an interesting game. It will definitely be an interesting game. Uh, Mina, have you broken your fast? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let, yes, sir. It's nearly 8 p.m. here. It's nearly 8 p.m. Um, it was time to break fast right at the right at the end of the game. Did Kobe get an England call up? When did Kobe get an England call up? I thought I thought he didn't get his England call up. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Did Kobe get a what's it called? Uh, am I bugging or are you lot are you lot having a laugh? Are you guys being serious? Honestly, Kobe. Oh my god! Apparently, Klopp called a, co a commentator fat. What? Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! What do you, why does he say that you're obviously not in a great shape? What does he mean by that? That's so rude. That's, surely he can't be talking about his weight. Surely he can't be talking about a player's weight. Nah. He said, you are out. You are clearly out of shape and I have no nerves for you. What does he mean by that? What does he mean by that? What does he... Anyways, anyways, let me know. Let me know. <laughs> he looks round. He looks round. Oh, my God. Oh my days, he looks so livid. He looks so angry. Oh my days. Cry more, Klopp. Cry, cry more. Cry, cry more. Hey, how's he telling a journalist you look like you're out of shape? How can you say that? How can you say that? Honestly, that is, guys, he's so rattled. Wallahi, he, wallahi, he's rattled. Wallahi, he's, he's... Anyway, let's... <laughs> Last time it was Van Dijk and now it's Klopp. Honestly, head loss. That is head loss. He really thought... They really thought this was going to end... What's it called? 
they really thought this was gonna end. Where are you watching that on? Uh, I just saw it on Twitter. I just saw the video on Twitter. If you lot go to Ten Hag Ball, um, I, somebody tweeted the video. Someone tweeted a video of it, which is jokes. That is hilarious. Oh my days. You are obviously not in great shape and I have no nerves. You know, clearly he must be saying something about, he can't be talking about his weight. He must be saying you're not in great shape. Maybe he's saying you're not in great shape. Like, I don't know, you're not dressed well or something. Because you can't be, are you calling a journalist fat? That's so, he's rattled. He has, that is so rattled. That, and people will defend that. People will defend that. Remember, Van Dyke last time was saying, oh yeah, they come here and celebrate one point. Shut up, man. Shut up. Shut up, Bram. Keep quiet. I had Liverpool fans talk about the quad. Talk about the quad. You know what, yeah? I don't... <laughs> Remember last year? Remember last year, everyone was saying it's United's fault that City won the treble, yeah? I, for one, have said this time and time again. I don't want Klopp to go out on any high. I don't want Liverpool to win the league. I don't want them to win anything. Like I don't want them to go out on a high. I hope... If they draw, I think they got Marseille. I think they got Marseille in the Europa League. And then if they they play the winners of AC Milan versus Roma, I hope if they get past Marseille and they get Milan, I hope Milan, AC Milan slap them up. I hope they get slapped up. I do not want Klopp to leave on a high. I don't. I don't care. I do not. I do not care. There is no last dance here. There is no last dance. This is not. This is not the redeemed team settings. This is not last dance settings. You're not MJ. You're not Kobe. You are not the Olympic uh, basketball uh, American team. Take your bags and go. Wherever you're going. It was, if it's international football, if you're taking a break, if you're going to live in Germany with your wife and kids, keep it moving. Keep, honestly, keep it moving. And I think that's what makes this win even sweeter. I think that's what makes the result even more sweeter is the fact that Liverpool fans were talking about quadruple Liverpool fans were talking about quad they were talking about a quad they were did you I saw Liverpool fans guys before this game are oh, they playing Atalanta I saw them I saw Liverpool fans before the FA Cup saying I hope we get Coventry in the next round that's what they were saying they were saying I hope we get Coventry in the next round they already in their heads in their heads they already bypassed United they already did the business at Old Trafford and they were saying I hope when Coventry won on Saturday I saw Liverpool fans tweeting saying I hope we get Coventry in the next round and that's what makes this more sweeter and shout out to all the United fans yeah shout out to all the United fans that not once doubted whether United were going to win or not I said it I said United were going to win I said United were going to win. I said it this morning when I was watching the when I when I was doing a watch long for the women's stream. I said it earlier in the week. I said two one. I'm not going to lie. I said two one. I don't think it was going to be a four three filler, a uh, thriller kind of game. Yeah, I didn't think it would be that. But I did think United was going to win because I believe in the magic of the cup. Also, the last time United haven't lost to, to there's been I think a, a few years, a, at least a number of years since United lost to Liverpool in the FA Cup. The last time we played them. We knocked them out. The last time United played them, which was 2021, I think it was January, we knocked them out. And something was just telling me that United would win. And I'm going to say this again. Ahmad Diallo is him. Let's put some respect on Ahmad Diallo's name. He took his chance. Listen, that celebration for me goaded. If he did not celebrate like that, I would have been mad. Forget the yellow card. Forget he's getting sent off. Forget the fine. I'll put, we'll start a GoFundMe to start his to pay his fine so he don't have to pay. I know he got the money too, but he, he doesn't need to. We'll, we'll start a GoFundMe so that he can pay it. Everyone send in super chats and I everyone send in super chats and I, I will pay his fine for him to the FA. Because if he didn't celebrate like that when he scored the winner, I would have been mad. He took, off, he took off his shirt and put it to the crowd. He said, remember my name. Remember my name. I am here. Now I have to get Ahmad Diallo shirt. I'm surprised I never actually had one anyways. I'm, so, I'm shocked I never had one. But I need to get an Ahmad Diallo shirt now. But Ahmad Diallo is him. He took his chance. I've been waiting, waiting, waiting for him to get his opportunity, guys. I have been waiting for Ahmad Diallo to get his opportunity. And I am so glad for him. I am so happy for him. He deserves it 100. He deserved to get the goal of this magnitude at this time to really announce himself. 
Because I don't think the goal would have hit as much if he scored like in a game against Luton or a game against Burnley or something. I don't think it would have hit the way that it did today. And that's what makes it even more sweeter. It makes it even more, it makes the feeling even more better. The magnitude of the game, the emotions in the game. I had people saying he can't defend. He was defending. He was defending. His defensive duties left led to two goals. The third, the Rashford goal, and then the what's it called? His his own goal. And shout out to him to cover that entire ground. He literally, from the edge of the box, didn't stop running with Garnacho and held his run to stay onside. At one point I thought he might have been off, offside, bro. At one point I thought he might have been offside, but he held his run long enough to keep to keep on side and he even said in his post match by the way he, <laughs> it's jokes because he got see he's probably the first player that i've seen get sent off go down the tunnel give his shirt away in the process <laughs> when he's going down the tunnel go to the dressing room the game ends and he has to come back out to do an uh, interview <laughs> but he got sent off and he got mad at the match <laughs> he's probably the first player i've ever seen to get mad at the match and get sent off <laughs> Oh man, but anyway, he said it after in his post match in- interview. He said he wanted to actually pass it back to Garnacho, but when it came onto his left foot, he said, I looked up and I just had to shoot. He said, I wanted to pass it to Garnacho, I wanted to give it back to him, but he was like, When I looked up and I saw the goal, I just had to shoot. And I'm glad that is what it means. Yeah, that is that is what it means, guys, when you bet on yourself. When you Ahmad Diallo turned down. Yeah, loan moves this January. You know that he turned down multiple loan moves to the Championship and to European teams because Eric Ten Hag did say to him that he is part of his plan. And you know what? I even said this. I said if Ahmad if Ahmad is not playing right now, there's a reason. There's a reason. Eric Ten Hag will integrate him in due time. That's why I was never saying free Ahmad all of that stuff. I said his time will come. And it's not that I trusted Eric Ten Hag, but I had faith. I, f- I had faith in Ahmad Diallo taking his opportunities when it came. I mean, today was a perfect game for him to take his opportunity because it went to extra time. Previous games, he was getting five, ten minutes. He was getting five, ten minutes. You can't really have much of an impact five, ten minutes into a ge- of a game. It's impossible. Today, he got about 30-something minutes because of extra time. And that is the best thing. You bet on yourself and it pays off. You bet on yourself and it pays off. Not everybody will always believe in it. Not everyone will believe in it. But in Ahmad Diallo's case, he had faith in himself. He had faith in himself. Now he waited for Ahmad to delete his United picks and delete his Instagram account to play him. No, Ahmad said he's focusing on Ramadan. Like, if a man is saying that he's focusing on his uh, religious obligations, why are people second-guessing it? Take his word for it. Take his word for it. And bro was fasting today. I told you, when he went into that changing room, they better have three dates and a bottle of water on the table for him. They better have free dates and a bottle of water on the table for him. Ahmad Diallo showed today, by the way, that he can play in the 10. He can play behind the striker. He can play alternating in that half space between the 10 and the right winger. And that's what he did at Sunderland. When he was playing on the right-hand side for Sunderland, he was alternating between the half space and the 10. And today he was doing that with Anthony. I don't know if you lot saw, but he was doing it a lot with Anthony. And he flourishes in games where maybe today was a good game for him because United had involvement in possession. United had that involvement in possession and they utilised it. They capitalised on it. But we're leaving on it. We'll leave it. Listen, international break. We're going into it. Good vibes. Good vibes. That's all I want to hear. I'll be back, guys, this week. We're bringing back the gaming streams, of course. We're going to bring the EAFC career mode settings. Going to do some WWE stuff. I'm going to be back streaming on Twitch for COD as well. We will be back. What else are we going to do? We're going to... We're, we're gonna we're gonna do quite a bit of stuff this this in the next couple of weeks. We're gonna do quite a bit of different stuff. We're gonna talk about United, of course. Mina and Marcel show will be back midweek as well. Saeed will be back. I will. I'm gonna try get new faces on here. I'm gonna try get new faces on here. Uh, we're gonna do some non United talk. We're gonna do some non United talk as well. So I apologize if y'all don't want to hear it. Big up to everyone, man. You don't know what it is. Listen, I'm gassed. My friend is texting me. I'm running late. I need to get going. Big up to everyone. They. Seven, 
day seven of fasting today. I hope if you are fasting, I hope you had a good meal when you broke your fast. Um, Hussam for the tears. I should get Hussam. I should get Hussam. I will get Hussam. I will do that. I will do that. But if you are fasting or are fasting or still are fasting, I hope you have a great meal uh, to, to break your fast with later on. Big up to everyone. Listen, Ahmad Diallo is him. Garnacho is him. Kobe Mano is him. Diogo Dallo, happy birthday. His birthday is tomorrow. I hope that win is the best birthday present you get this year. Big up to everyone. Be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe. You guys know what it is. I will be back tomorrow. As always, daytime stream, man. Listen. Guys, don't let anybody rain on your parade. Don't let anybody rain on your parade. Be sure to hit the like button on your way out and I'll be back tomorrow. You lot know what it is. Until next time, it's your girl, Minna. Peace.